Thank, thank you so much. Uh, Senator Leffler, when you uh, received the private briefing regarding the coronavirus pandemic, you dumped millions of dollars of stock uh, in order to protect your own investments. And then weeks later, when there came an opportunity to give ordinary Georgians an extra $600 of relief, you said you saw no need and called it counterproductive. Why do you think it's counterproductive to help ordinary Georgians in the middle of a pandemic? Well, thank you for that question because I've been completely exonerated. Those are lies perpetrated by the left-wing media and Democrats to distract from their radical agenda. Since I got to the Senate, I've worked hard to deliver relief to Georgians during this pandemic, and I'm continuing to do that. But look what Democrats have done. They have stood for stonewalling relief that I voted for twice in the Senate to deliver relief to families, to farmers, to schools and hospitals. They're playing politics. That's what they're using their lies to cover up. The fact that they don't have a positive agenda to lift Georgians up. They want to defund the police, raise your taxes, implement the Green New Deal that would crush jobs and opportunity. And what I'm working on is making sure that we can get the economy going again, that we can drive forward after this pandemic. And I've been working side by side for my colleagues to make sure that we get that done and we have delivered results. $47 billion that I brought here to Georgia saved 1.5 million jobs at small businesses. Uh, Reverend, you have 30 seconds to respond if you'd like. Uh, listen, I do not want to defund the police and Kelly Leffler knows it. Uh, but she keeps saying this because she wants to distract from her own record. Uh, the truth of the matter is, were it left up to her, uh, Georgians would not have received the $600 of expanded unemployment insurance. And they haven't seen any relief in months. And she hasn't done anything. She's done nothing to provide relief for ordinary people, the folks I'm seeing all across this state who are in pain in the middle of this pandemic. Senator Leffler, it's your turn to ask a question to Reverend Warnock. Reverend Warnock, in your writings and your teachings, you've repeatedly praised Marxism and the redistribution of income. Can you here and now for all Georgians renounce socialism and Marxism? Listen, uh, I believe in our free enterprise system. And uh, my dad was a small business owner. Uh, and during the Great Recession, you know what I was doing? I, I was leading my church to build a community center where, among other things, we had a financial literacy center that taught people how to repair their credit, create a 700 credit score community, how to create a business, how to buy a home, how to participate in our free enterprise system. Kelly Leffler, on the other hand, was teaching the big banks how to hide their investments offshore in the Cayman Islands. Uh, this is how she spent her career before she went to the Senate this is what she's been focused on uh, now that she's in the Senate. She was only there three weeks. I'm not sure she was fully unpacked when she started dumping millions of dollars of stock trying to protect herself. And uh, she purchased that seat. It's done well for her. To the issue is that the people who sold it to her don't own it. And the people of Georgia are coming back to get their seat. Senator, you have 30 seconds. Well, predictably, you've just heard more lies from radical liberal Raphael Warnock, who wants to distract from his own words, calling police officers gangsters, thugs, bullies, and a threat to our children, saying that you can't serve God and the military for his attacks on Israel. You know, what I'm focused on is making sure that we continue to deliver relief. I've already delivered relief for 174,000 small businesses, $7 billion for hospitals. And when the government didn't move quickly enough, I purchased PPE out of my own funds, drove it to hospitals. I donated to hospitals and I donate my salary to charities across Georgia. I'm here working for Georgia.